Oh, sister snapped. Who is this guy that's talking shit? I don't know. Um, I recognize the name. But oh, this is the guy that made like the 20 year, the t two backfired? No way. Oh, this is the guy who made the video about uh, Shane, Shane Dawson, right? Why do all these yeah, made a Shane made it. Hat headphones? What, is this just like the like, uniform so let me for see. A drama YouTuber now? Oh, wait, no. Wait, what is this? Is this not the guy who made the documentary about Shane? Uh, he made a he made a Shane video. It has 16 million views. Yeah. Well, he made like the cancel Shane. Oh my God. Wow, starting a podcast with Trisha Paytas backfired. How did it backfire? Okay, here we go. We ready to do this? Ian, can you just tell us what's the? <coughs> yeah. We going to war? Uh, that seems like no. we're going to war. I'm not ready for this. Yeah, I maybe just just give me timestamps. I don't have to watch this whole fucking thing live. But I have no sound, Dan. Uh, let me, let, I just want to hear it. What are we about I kind of like the right cat now? ears. I'm going to talk about really? your headphones. Whoa, his voice. <laughs> I, well, you are a was gamer that, girl. Is that unmodified? Is Today I'm going to talk about Trisha Paytas. Holy is that Tay Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate rain. Motherfucker has baritone. People Trans like him in the chat. And, yeah, I've, um, I've always liked Angelo. Like People like I'm him? Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to war. He's apparently made a video talking shit about friendly. So what are we supposed to do? I mean, <laughs> you Angelo guys like I him. And, and he, so what am I supposed to do? I mean, I don't know what he said yet. <laughs> <coughs> I, I disagree I that it backfired, well, though. Conflict of interest here. Oh, maybe he's just, he should, let, let me just read the comments. Trisha's saying Jewish people are so different. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing Trisha talk, oh, maybe he's just, he's just pulling the, uh, yeah. All right. Thank well, you. Ian, Ian, Ian just tell us what it's about. So, I mean, what's the deal? Oh, you're saying to watch it? Well, I'm only halfway. I'm not done Let's see. Let's give it a shot. I'm not ready for bad news. If I, really I, I don't think he's going. He can't. What is he going to say? I can't get <clears> enough <throat> of his voice. About this podcast because I've actually watched this podcast. I actually love this podcast. Everyone is saying he's great and they love him. Oh, but what can I do? What can I, I do? I, I'm just. I've got the foot soldiers. I'm wearing a pickle here. We're in a bind. Stop! We love him, but Stop! yet. Okay, let me watch it before I before I decide this war. You know, you know who went after him was Shallon Lester. What did he him with the lawsuit? What? What? He made a video exposing Shallon Lester. He was like the first one to do it, and then she threatened him with a lawsuit. Who's Shannon Lester? No. Shallon Lester. Um, no, no. Voices of the past. Okay. Uh, Some of you may have already guessed. I'll tell you off. A lot going you off on air. with it. So I'm going to talk about it all: the good, the bad, and the ugly. But of course, before that, I'd like to read my comment shout out from my last video. Okay, but let's skip how the comment shout out for her <laughs> insensitive the voice. Is amazing. Everyone from the trans community to people with DI. I think he's just talking about her. All the crazy shit she said. And then the other person in this equation is Ethan Klein, one of the YouTubers behind the hugely popular channel H3H3 Productions, which he ran with his wife, Hila. And their conflict is that, for some reason, they decided to start a weekly podcast, despite their completely clashing personalities and their rocky history. And to top it all off, Trisha is dating my it's worse than that. brother. She's so engaged. Yeah, it's a mess. But before I unpack <laughs> that, let's unpack today's sponsor. Today's video is Let's not unpack. <laughs> Motherfucker, they gotta pay oh me God. to watch your video. <laughs> Audible. <laughs> let's unpack. Win friends and influence people by Dale Carpenter. Oh, Carpenter. please. Everybody Hello, recommends that book. <laughs> How to win friends and oh, I well, it's a great book. Yeah, but I it's what everybody book. says. Get a fuck, read a book. It's a great book. Okay, I like him. I'm not going to war. It's a I'm great not going book. To war. And I like the headphones. People I mean, want us so to watch far, it. So far, we're in a good. We like him. We like. We like him. <laughs> we're not going to war yet. One of the only reasons this podcast works, and I've been go over. I mean, it 20... works. He said it works. Okay, good. See, we're friends. Okay. It's not funny. Thirty day trial today. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. So first, I really do want to go over what I think is good about this podcast. Thank you. Because um, surprise of all surprises, it's not 100% terrible. One of the only oh, reasons please. this podcast works. <laughs> Clearly, people like it. Please. No, I love you. We're friends. We all love you. Let's just, just watch what people say. Okay, I'm not going to do this. And I've been able to get through it is because Trisha Paytas is actually I did, her I mean. real self on this podcast. She's not this extremely fake, dramatic. Well, she is. That's literally her real self. And she yes, basically it admits it. I think it's safe to say I'm the most dramatic. I try to start beef with everybody. Yeah. She goes into detail about how a lot of her previous videos have been for attention as well. And it's like, I'm not congratulating her for doing the bare minimum, but 
I do find it a refreshing change of pace. Another strong point is that Trisha is extremely funny on this podcast. I agree. Because of how agree. mean she is. It's funny. Sorry, she's, I'm not doing this to be cute. No one thinks you look cute. <laughs> she's also really dumb on purpose. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Which I also find funny. I still I don't, don't know, know if she was and then, serious on the other hand, there's some things I didn't expect from Trisha Paytas here. She's actually very open about a lot of her real struggles. I see that he said he went to therapy this year, so hopefully that helped. Because it helped me. Like, if you're always on the defense, like, I was always on Trisha the defense. Trisha is such so a long, lightning like, rod. It's crazy how she really is prolific, you know? Yeah. To... I'm still learning who Trisha is. I don't even know what's the right way to describe her. But... She's such an entertainer, too. She is. On top of everything, like he said, she's really funny. Also, yes, Ethan, I'm yes, oh my another god. Uh, somebody in the chat says um, he he sided with you and was defending you during the uh, James Charles hoodie debacle. Oh, I love him. He's my oh, favorite creator. Wow. Here, I'm going to throw a like on it. I knew I liked him. I knew I liked him. I knew I loved D'Angelo Wallace, right, oh, guys? Oh, no! Yeah. Right, guys? I mean, Dan was the one immediately. Dan was like, we're going to war. We're, so, we're gonna, Dan was like, we're going to storm I the Capitol. Not, no, hold on. I'm muting your mic. So. <laughs> Dan Dan was like, we're going to storm the Capitol. All I said is all these They're drama stealing it. have hey, Dan, the same bad, headphones. Huh? I was just making an observation. I love, I, I, I love D'Angelo Wallace. I said he's the man. I love D'Angelo Wallace. He's my favorite creator. All the producers have the same Sony headphones. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <clears throat> By the way, if you guys want to go to D'Angelo Wallace, did you see on Wikifeet? Let's go give him five star. Let's give him the foot soldier bump. Give him a bump. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna lose my second. I'm gonna lose my number two spot. D'Angelo Wallace, That's Wiki right. Feet. Well, Avery, you did kind of well, snake in there. I mean, really. I didn't snake. <laughs> Wait, who is this? Zach is just mad because he got put on the same day, and he's D like D'Angelo Wallace. I know. I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm number I, two. I don't even care. What? That's not him. I want to smell feet. <laughs> Does he not have a wiki feet? <laughs> oh, brother. I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to give you the wiki feet bump. <laughs> well, we love him. We I love you, D'Angelo. Like, it's, mm. it's just more because you're, like, broken and you don't get hurt. Besides being open about her experience with therapy and the various mental issues that she goes through, she talks a lot about experiences that she's had that she's never opened up before. Yeah, I, I, I had know. an overdose on February 5th of 2019. Oh That's when I mental hospital. But I was trying on to kill myself. Xanax? Mm. I know a lot about Trisha Paytas and, um... <laughs> to quote a tweet, all of it is against my will. But I have to say, I never knew that she was going through quite this much. Now, she's not the only person. This podcast is co-hosted, and I have a lot to say about Ethan Klein oh as well. First of all, Ethan is actually even funnier than Trisha. You like how you make your head look good? He's the best guy. Well, you know we love Dan. You know I've always been a huge fan of D'Angelo Wallace. I've said it from the beginning. Prolonged. Yeah, because it makes me look skinny. I'm trying to it find makes it look like um, pictures of his feet. Picture, yeah, I think he, I think he actually avoids it. Like, oh, smart man. Yeah. Well, let me just offer the olive branch, D'Angelo. If you're watching this, get some, take some pictures of your feet. <laughs> it will always, everything ends up on Wiki Feet, and we'll give you the bump. <laughs> you know, that's a standing offer. You had like a birth defect or something. <laughs> I don't I don't know why people being mean to each other is funny, but I still laughed. Obviously, what's more important than that though is that he's surprisingly cognizant of Trisha's mental problems that she goes through on the show. You know, sometimes when she starts getting really bad, which oh she does, we're gonna get to that in a second. I notice that he doesn't push her. A lot of times he tries Thank to you. stop her. I am doing the most I'm you seem, fasting, so I'm hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just slow down. You seem really ca caustic today. And he doesn't just abandon Trisha Paytas like I think most people do when they come to the conclusion that it's kind of difficult to handle her. But yeah, I mean, you know Thank me. Thank you. We love this man. Thank you, Hila. I love frenemies. What can I say? I agree. I think it's just this phenomenal. It's like, it's like you take, you take. Uh, <gasps> They're saying D'Angelo for Bachelor. How do I know that he's that he's single? <laughs> you want D'Angelo? D'Angelo, if you're watching this, you want to be the bachelor, contact me. Here, let me follow him on 100%. Twitter. 100% success rate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, 100% true love success rate. Hold on, someone is saying he's married. He's married? This is all, I, they're all super that random that? comments. <laughs> There's not much. <clears throat> right, you don't want me, man. <laughs> I can't spend an entire video saying good <clears throat> things about something that would be 
insane. So next, I'm going to talk about the bad parts of the Frenemies podcast. First of all, Trisha Paytas crosses the line so far. Trisha mm -hmm. Paytas pole vaults over the line at <laughs> least once per episode. One thing that she loves to do for some reason is attack Ethan's wife trisha goes oh. on and on about how Ela secretly hates her trisha is oh. constantly putting words in her mouth you say Ela doesn't that. like me Ela doesn't ever say hi I to me like, hey. i think at first her dislike for ethan's wife was kind of funny or at least they tried to play it off as a joke but it got just weirdly real when during an argument trisha storms out and calls her the c word <laughs> Okay. I literally don't care. Literally, I don't want to come back because I really fucking hate her. If that's not bad enough, she also routinely brings up off-limits things to make Ethan feel like dirt, basically. Randomly bringing up the fact that he had a pill addiction that he had to overcome. She also just repeatedly claims that Ethan wants to cheat on his wife with her. She goes as oh, far yeah. as to <laughs> insult their parents. I, I, just, I totally just brush past that yeah. because I'm like... I don't take it seriously because I so don't. I'm just, I can't, I don't know how to convince Trisha that I don't want to have sex with her, but I really don't. She's just not my type. Sorry. My type is, is uh, beautiful, Israeli, uh, oh women God. named Hila. <laughs> Klein. Good answer. No middle name. <laughs> when you have a kid, you should try and be with that as much as possible, not. Be with, with it. strangers. Yeah, nothing says bad parenting to me like making sure <clears throat> that your child is being watched while you make money Preach! to provide Preach! a nice life for them. Bad, I bad, love this bad. guy. Anything that she does on this podcast, which I personally just find so hard to watch. <laughs> I'm not going to say anti Semitic. I love Jews. We always but, talk about this. I love it. it anyway, I, 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 listen, I think I get it. Do you guys want me to keep Dude! watching? I think we should. I think we get it. I think we all. I mean, we didn't get to the part where he had we're anything negative simping. to say about you. I'm wondering. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're in so deep. Is he going to, like, fetishizing that? Mm, true, yeah. Trisha goes on and on about how I'm gonna follow she loves Twitter, Jewish people, friend. which is super weird. Because, I can't get an answer again, on you know, if she's, she's married or not. People I'll get to the bottom of it. I'm going to follow him. Because I, I guess people seem conflicted on the issue. How do they not know if he's married or not? Because maybe he made a joke. Angela Wallace. I'm not sure. Oh, he's following zero people. What an interesting fellow. Follow. But Why is it so quiet? I can't hear any. Cost was. You just found out about the whole. They do want you to keep watching. What? Okay. It's like borderline unwatchable when she does that. I physically cringe and I want to turn it off. Well, what if it really? so bad? But remember, Ethan is also a host of the podcast and he has similar problems. I have to be <gasps> honest. Ethan <laughs> Klein does not do any research for this podcast at all. Like anytime Trisha says, oh, I have beef with this person. Ethan almost immediately sides with her for some reason, which mm -hmm. results in like entire episodes dedicated to beef that Trisha made up. He also says really crazy. <laughs> things on his podcast that are very easy to fact check with shane it's not like he necessarily did anything yeah it's all like bad jokes from a long okay, time so, but, ago okay okay this guy I made mean, a whole 20 part or no a, he made well, a whole the, documentary the about shane. shane dawson is a very complicated topic let's hear what he has sure. to say i'm here mel right Whereas now that we're best friends like, i owe him at I least think that he, i i do think from your perspective you meant like compared to um chris delia yeah the Yes, he didn't actually like with Chris do the war. commit a crime on. Well, well, I guess that's right. debatable. Yeah, right. I guess it's debatable. Right. Okay, let's hear. Like actively doing slimy stuff. So I've kind of talked about. I the think good. maybe he felt personally attacked because I was like, "Well, Shane didn't do anything wrong," and he has like this his this huge video about you know Shane needs to be canceled. I haven't actually watched his video to be totally honest because. Let me pull it back. And D'Angelo, we are best friends, so don't take this as a slight. We are Did really... anything? Yeah. It's all like... But how bad long is this video? a long time ago. Right. Whereas Chris is like... Acting. It's an hour 13, so... Maybe I should watch it. You guys want to watch it on stream? No. <laughs> the D'Angelo episode. No, I do not doing slimy stuff. So I've kind of talked about the good parts of the podcast. I've kind of talked about the bad parts of the podcast. But um, now I'd like to talk about the ugly parts. So first Ooh. of all, Treasure Pages has had more the good, than the one bad, the ugly. mental breakdown huh. on this podcast. They very much played the first one up for <coughs>, laughs because, I mean, they were wearing Halloween costumes. It was kind of hard. That was not a joke, by the way. Just to be honest with you, that wasn't played up. That was... Yeah. One, uh, every meltdown and fight we've had, it has been 100% genuine we didn't go into an episode being like oh we're gonna fight the fact that it happened is me as uncle fester just kind of made it funnier <laughs> 
or made it something funny that wasn't, I guess. Not I don't to know. laugh at. But I'm going to be honest. The second time that she stormed off of the set, it was not at all funny. No, I it agree. It was very clear to me that she was mentally unwell in that moment. Yeah. But she later confirmed herself. And I again, agree. Because I'm really trying to balance this video out since this is Ethan's podcast as well. I think he plays a huge part in this. Yes, like I said, I truly believe that he does his best to manage Trisha Paytas and her outbursts. But it's like once they happen, he's really happy to profit off of them, basically. Making podcast highlights out of her breakdowns. The show, in some way, is kind of dependent on, ooh, is Trisha going to have a breakdown this week? And I think Unfollow. that's just really not a great show. Well, we have, we have a lot... That's only happened twice in our episodes that don't have her breaking down. Do great. I mean, like the we have plenty of episodes of her not breaking down. The last one was all good vibes. Yeah, but um... that being said, the highlights. I mean, yeah, I guess I think I think the highlights benefit us both in that it helps promote the show, and it's like it's already in the episode. I mean, it's a fair criticism, though. I guess. Well, not everyone has time to watch the full episode. You know? But I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like, I guess it's a fair criticism on one hand. It looks like that. But on the other hand, it's a notable episode. It's a notable moment that everybody's talking about. People are definitely going to clip it and put it online regardless. And so it's better for us to do it than other people to do it. Yeah, that is one thing we've learned is that if we don't do it, someone else is going to do it. Right, and so, I don't know, this whole charade of, like, it, it's part of the show. It's like, it, there's, I can't, like, decide, like, we're running this business, right, and we have this whole highlight uh, system, and it's like, all of a sudden, if something sensitive happens, I'm just supposed to ignore it, like it didn't happen. I don't know. For me, it's just, it's part, it's all part of the show. And it just, it, if we put out the episode, we put out the highlights. You know what I mean? But I get it. I understand the criticism for sure. I, I, I'm frankly torn when that happens too. I go, I do have this internal debate of like, do I, should I highlight this? Should I just, should I not? And, and it is something I think about, but ultimately I just decide like, look, it's on the, it's in the podcast. It's part of the highlight, you know? So that's, I guess my, my thinking show to run and i don't think that's a very ethical choice to make patricia herself has confirmed that she struggles with bpd and obviously that excuses absolutely none of her behavior but i don't know what what his point is is that we, he, we shouldn't be doing a podcast together because that's all it is it's like she has bpd he says it's not ethical and we shouldn't be doing it. i don't know what's the solution just don't do a podcast together you know what i mean i mean that's a fickle argument because then what could we say about the video he's making right now I mean, ah, it, it, be the, the 180 on you, buddy. I mean, in front of me, oh, is going off that's why people are making videos about it. That's why every T channel lives for frenemies. Right. That's true. Yeah. I mean, like, what, what, what's the solution? Is that everybody, nobody's allowed to collab with Trisha or do anything with her because she has borderline, borderline personality disorder? You know what I mean? It's like, we both really enjoy doing the podcast. Mm hmm. At the end of the day, you're a friend to her. You, you said, you've told her, you know, I'll always be here for you. And you've, you've always tried to be understanding, you know, so. I love AB. But I agree with you. Yeah, I, 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 I do. I do try. Fair, I, really, I don't know if he's, we should finish. We should let him finish his thought because that isn't necessarily the. Okay, let me, I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll finish. There's still choices that she's made. But I believe it becomes really obvious that she has BPD in situations like this. And I don't want to tune in for the BPD breakdown show. I truly f find that horrendous. A lot of people say about the show like, oh, Trisha's such a bad person. By the way, I try my best to avoid the BPD breakdowns and it's happened twice and I've tried my best to, I don't know what to do when that happens, okay? And so like, I agree, I don't want, the, I don't want that show either, dude. I much prefer when we have like episodes like last week when it was just the the steamies or this week the steamies you know that was fun it was wholesome everybody enjoyed it and um that's the show that i want because we all just want a fun sustainable experience i don't want my life racked with drama 
I mean, whenever it happens, it's really stressful on all of us. It's not like we just, um, it's not like a game to us. It's no. like we all don't know what's happening. We don't know if it's the last episode, if she's going to. And I feel like maybe by now that it happened twice, we're kind of learning to understand her better and like <clears throat> recognize it when it's happening and yeah. understand that it's going to pass and she's going to be like over it. But Especially the first time, we were all so shocked. We really didn't know what it meant, what was going to happen next. Like, Yeah, you know. and the, well, the second time was even worse. Mm -hmm. And Ethan is such a good person for putting up with her. And I love him again. I mean, yeah, Trisha kind of is a bad person. But I don't think any of that has to do with her breakdowns or the BPD at all. I agree. And I really don't think Ethan Klein is a saint. Oh, I hate him again. Putting up with oh, it. Oh, okay, I understand. Because if you haven't <laughs> noticed, he's also putting up with a ton of views. I haven't even made a video about Trisha Paytas by herself yet, and probably won't in the future, specifically because of how many mental issues she deals with. And if anything, this podcast has really just shown me like there's a lot there that I'm not even qualified to handle, and I truly don't believe even Klein is handling it in the best way possible for. Her. What do you want? We're just I'm making a podcast with my friend. I'm not a fucking this isn't clinical therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to fix her. I'm just making a podcast with my friend, dude. Her either. It gets views, but at what cost, basically? It's what not It's not at any cost. It's just a podcast with two friends, bro. We can all okay. collectively decide to stop it at whenever we feel like it's gone too far. But so far, mm -hmm. all parties feel that it's okay. I mean, I feel like his argument is that breaks down to if anybody does anything consistent consistently with Trisha, you're exploiting her. Or in some sense, because she has met a uh, uh, borderline personality. You know, I've seen Trisha for years on YouTube, and I mean, like, this show is the first time, like, where you, you actually treat her like a, a human. Like, it's it's so messed up. Like, just go look at that David Portnoy podcast. Look how they fucking talk to her. Like, she's not even a human. Pork boy. Like, anyway, boy yeah. from this. Anyway, Liz, maybe I'm maybe I'm overreacting. Please. I love I love D'Angelo. If you're going to collaborate with Trisha Paytas, um, just do it on her OnlyFans. Besides, you'll make do it on what? On more money OnlyFans. anyway. Well, I'll be uh, what? Only... You want to see what? That was a weird at two p.m. Central Time. Yeah, wait, what? Back it up. Hold on. What kind of qualified to handle? And I truly don't believe even Klein. Of course, I'm not qualified to handle it. I'm just a fucking guy making a podcast with my friend. Yeah, in love the best way possible for her either. It gets views, but at what cost? Basically, what I've learned from this is, if you're going to collaborate with Trisha Paytas, um, just do it on her OnlyFans. Besides, you'll make more money anyway. Well, I'll be here all week, folks, at 2 p.m. Central Time, if it's Monday, Wednesday. It's okay. Weird comment. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess really I'm doing OnlyFans. I am doing OnlyFans. I am going... Is that okay with you, Yellow? Mm-mm. No. Look, I understand oh the concerns. God. I am con I am sensitive about it, but at the same time, it's like... We're just friends doing a podcast, ultimately, you know? Well, he says at what cost? I mean, I mean, it's fine. It's a, it's a legitimate um, conversation to have. We even had that conversation with ourselves, and we. I were, love D'Angelo. <laughs> we were wondering if we should continue it or not, but we all, on um, not on the show, we all talked, and we felt we came to a good place. Mm -hmm. You know, Ethan, me, my brother, and Trisha. So. We all feel we're in a good place, and if things don't continue in a good place, then we don't have to continue the show. Yeah, of course. But for now, everyone is enjoying it, so. I actually, I think it's good for Trisha because I feel like she does have a, these, a lot of people assume that Trisha is like just totally faking everything for attention. And I think that it's really shown Trisha to be an actual real human being who's not just like, it, it really exposed her human side that people didn't really see and so i think she's happy that people have this new understanding of her i certainly do and so i think it is actually i know it doesn't look like it at times but i do think it's good for 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 everybody you know it's been great i love d'angelo wallace send me your wiki feed bro <laughs> only fans comment was bizarre I think he was uh, it's kidding. Just a joke. He was just uh, it's kidding. It's a joke, but it's yeah. it's just it was kind of a weird note to punctuate the video with. But whatever. I think he was Not just kidding. Deal. Yeah.